My name's Joe, and I spend my life bringing people together through music. The reason I became a musician was that magical feeling of belonging and connection that music gave me growing up. All children should get the chance to experience music as part of their childhood. But unfortunately, in my 10 years of working with young people, I've seen just how much music has suffered in our schools. But I've come to Barrow Hill Junior School in North London with an idea that I believe can get every child here making music again. My name's David, um, I'm head teacher here at Barrow Hill Junior School. When I first came here I put a lot of work into the English and the maths and so did my colleagues too. And music had been taught very widely in the school before that, but it did get squashed and I put my hands up to that. It was about improving standards and we were very much driven actually by um, pressures outside as well as inside. I tried to filter those um, those sorts of pressures as much as possible but the school was being entirely judged at that time on its English and its maths and so after a couple of years of being head teacher um, I wanted to redress that balance. When Joe came to our school and wanted to put down roots here and wanted to roll out a brand new creative music um, element we absolutely jumped for joy. Good morning, Barrow Hill. Good morning, Joe. I've got some absolutely super duper wonderful, amazing, incredible news for you all this morning. Yeah. We are going to create a musical together. Yes. We are going to be creating a story together, characters together, a script together, music together, and putting on a show together in which you're all going to perform. We've got three months to make it happen. Yeah. We're going to be writing a script and I love that. So they talk through music. Can you write that as well? And I think that's true. I think a lot of people do have that with music. We're going to take, you know, the Greek mythology, you know, the hero's journey, the typical, like, what happens to a hero and the journey that they go on. Here's the protagonist, the antagonist, you know, they go off into the world and they come back. And then we're going to try and build that into the story. So I, I have crafted it a bit, but I want to treat them like they're doing a job. Our job is to create a story that inspires children, that inspires the children in year three, year four, and year five to learn music and to become a brilliant musician. Yeah. I really want you on the writing team. You've got so many ideas. This is brilliant. If you want to create a world for children, have children help create that world themselves. And that's what this musical is all about. This group, wonderful. Extremely cool. Love it. Fantastic. I've been given three months to create a brand new musical with Barrow Hill Junior School in North London in a bid to reignite the school's love of music. Around 25% of children here play an instrument, but surprisingly, a similar number have already given up. Could you put up your hands if you used to play an instrument but you don't play an instrument anymore? Why are so many choosing to quit lessons before they've even got started? I decided to start the project by finding out from the children themselves. I used to play violin. Yes, I did play an instrument before that was a piano. I used to play drums. Well, I started to do guitar lessons because I wanted to learn a bit of an uh, instrument. But I stopped because I had to, be, uh, because I had to practice a test and it was a bit boring. When I was doing fun lessons like art, I had to miss them too, and I just didn't really like it. So, I stopped. They taught me like really easy stuff that I was already able to do. It kept 
the repeating and I got bored. Then I started to do flute, but my mum didn't think I was learning anything, so she took me out of flute. I felt a bit conflicted. Having been a young musician myself and taught hundreds of children across London, I know just what it takes to progress through the system. But these children aren't interested in becoming professional musicians. Well, not yet anyway. They just want to love their first encounters with music. I realise in a deep way the children are actually telling me how they want to learn. I want to play with other people and have a great time so I know how to communicate with other people and make more friends. I like to use teamwork with other friends. Me playing the drums and other, knowing other people play other instruments that maybe I don't know about. Maybe you can get your friends to play with you or practice with you. If they're better than you, it doesn't matter. Um, Musinga Island is this magical place which the main character um, is taken there um, by chance and, and there they learn how to become a, uh, musical, uh, a musical hero and get the music, r real music part into their soul and it really helps because um, because then they come out from Musingo Island as a whole new person and they love music. On Musingo Island, the children can come together and play music together as a team, so it creates strong bonds between the children and it really teaches them something new, which will be a privilege in their lives. So I really like the project, not just the story, but also in real life, how it will bring people together and how the whole school can be one big group of musicians. Every class get a chance to sing. They get their own song and some classes sing on Musingo Island and it really helps build that kind of happy atmosphere for the people watching. So even if you're not in the band or the cast, you still get to be part of the whole big idea. Because it's like the whole show is just one big metaphor for what we want this school to become. Because I have half an hour with each class, I'm making a lot of things in, to help the children learn independently at home and that's opened a whole new world or opportunity that I didn't even think about which is like how amazing technology is now and that kids can find and learn anything they want at home. So I've put loads of resources on YouTube so they can learn the songs and the kids have really bought into it in a massive way. as many different combinations as I can. I've got you here because I have a certain idea that you will fit one of the characters. I've got to do my Well done. And I think the fact that some of you have helped write the script makes it quite a special thing. I didn't have to ask you how each character should be because you know because you've already been part of creating it. So that was really quite special to see. Really nice. Okay, got it. What I did want for this was for Joe and the children, every class teacher, to have the whole of the autumn term to compose, write scripts, make sure the lyrics are there, and then they'll be rehearsing very intensively um, in January and we'll be having um, a production week as well. The children will be using their art and design and technology skills to build sets, design costumes. So it's a whole school effort which is whipping up the energy that was lacking. It's the end of the Christmas term and it's really been an amazing experience putting this show together and seeing the children's ideas turn into realities. One thing we don't have are any instruments to play 
the show on. So I'm really hoping that when I get back after January there are some late Christmas presents waiting here for me because I can't put on this show at the moment with no instruments. So it's taken about 10 weeks to get these um, and it's been keeping me up at night wondering how we're going to do a show and finally they've arrived. Um, what have I had to do? I've had to hassle and beg and almost had to steal instruments from somewhere. Every single one of you needs to know every single word and the videos are all there on YouTube for you to look at and memorize. So the musical is mainly about somebody who doesn't like music and they're kind of forced to do it and they get ridiculed at school for not being able to play. No one will ever sing with me, they're all the opposite to me, all I've got this stuff Teddy. Yay. I imagine it was way so cool. And then they've got a tutor who we've decided is going to be evil. But on the island, nobody makes fun of um, you for who you are or your ability. You must have been so upset. Poor you. Rest now. Your first challenge starts tomorrow. What challenge? You are going to learn to play music with other children. Wake up, wake up. I've got an awesome piece to show you. Come on, join in. I had sang lead in Growing in School. That was my class's song. teachers performing it alongside the children is something Joe just told me about um, and I'm not sure that the teachers know that bit yet but I think it's going to be really terrific. It was actually a bit of a surprise because Joe didn't let the teachers know and they were actually going to be part of the show so we just thought we were supporting the children but I think the children see me particularly as I'm not a musician myself I think that helped them as well that we're all in it together and we're all learning the parts together. I used to play the guitar um, a few years ago um, just in my spare time and I hadn't really done it in a while and then uh, I told Joe about it and he asked me to perform in the musical which I was a bit nervous about but I don't know I really miss playing the guitar so I was excited.
doing it and seeing the whole thing, I just thought it was one of the most amazing things that we've ever done or I've ever seen, because usually it's just a school play. I had a great time, it was, it was really fun, I really got into it, and um, something definitely would love to do again. This is exceptional in my experience in terms of what primary schools do with music. They don't tend to put on um, whole school productions which are A, sort of equipped professionally, and B, are, um, as Joe mentioned, sort of primarily written by the children. That doesn't really happen. It was amazing because it was really good and a surprise that everybody cooperated together, all together, and it was just really fun. I wasn't really into music. I heard the sound of the piano in the band and I just fell in love with it. I love the creativity and I was quite mind blown after the songs because they sounded so well. It feels like amazing how we put so much effort and it kind of finally came in the show. And I think Joe did an amazing like, job getting everyone together. It feels good because like, you've put three months of hard work into it and now like, you're letting it all out, you know, showing them what you've really got. We did pretty well, so I, I think we nailed it. Because everybody had such a strong role, either they were playing in the band or that they were singing or they were doing some of the acting or they had a technical job. It was a genuine celebration and at the end of it everybody walked away from it tired but really, really proud. It's not been about a show, it's not been about a one-time performance, it's been about transforming this school into a musical community. I've actually seen all the children here take a trip to Musingo Island and I've seen that it's transformed them. What's next? You're just going to have to wait and see.